In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a benefit letter. The benefit letter is probably one of the documents that I use pretty early on in the strategy development process and, and something that I think is an essential framework for any strategist. The difference between how I do a benefit letter and how I've seen a lot of other people do it is I do both sides of the rung. So on the left hand side, I've got the consumer problem. And then on the right hand side, I've got the product feature as the first rung, then goes to the functional benefit, which is the benefit in the moment of using the product. And then we go to the emotional benefit, which is what's the bigger role for this brand. My benefit ladders are really important. They link into getting to the higher order need, the brand strategy. I use it for that, but then I also use it for the comms framework. Often the different messages are based on the benefit ladder. My comms framework is built off that. I'm gonna to try to do one in 30 minutes. I've chosen a B2B brand. I'm doing MailChimp. I used to be a MailChimp customer. They were an iconic B2B brand. The way that I've set it up is on one side, I've got 30 minutes, the counter, on the other, I've got the benefit ladder. To begin with, I always start at the bottom. So I put the timer on, I've got 30 minutes and I start at the bottom. I'm trying to look for product features. Unfortunately, I run into a bit of an error here. I'm in Portugal. I don't speak Portuguese yet. The MailChimp website's not much help, but that's where I'd usually find the features and the benefits. I'm going to Wikipedia, which is not much help. And then I go to GPT again. This is a 30 minute kind of speed run at a benefit ladder. So nothing is validated. I would go off after this and validate everything that I've got. At the moment, all I'm trying to do is write down all the features of the product. After that, I kind of jump up to the next level, which is asking what are the benefits of the actual product when people are using it? What's the benefit of using it? I get some good articles from MailChimp at this moment, telling me what the actual specific benefits in the moment are. That was really helpful. I'm listing them out there and I've got a fairly like decent size of probably five or six on each side. I then go over and try to really understand what the problems are. Here, what we're seeing is like problems on one side, hopefully it connects with a solution on the other. Uh, we've got problems around deliverability, engaging with an audience, relevant content. And then we go up to the functional benefit. What's the problem in the moment? Limited resources, finding the right channel, monitoring the relationship. So these tend to be a little bit similar, I find in the moment here, but it's helpful to kind of start seeing a little bit of a picture here of how everything's gonna start looking. I bold out the ones that I think are kind of the most important or interesting to me at the moment. Uh, would often sometimes do multiple benefit ladders. We're doing one today. Then to go to the next level, the emotional benefit, which is the consumer kind of consumer goal is I use the 24 consumer goal cheat sheet that takes you through all the different 24 goals that consumers have. And that's a really handy document because you can kind of look at it and really see what you think the benefit of using the product in the moment is. I then go the other side and at this stage I've kind of made a choice on the audience as well I've gone for a small business audience and I've gone what is the emotional benefit of running a small business so we're trying to go a little level high here to try to really understand what's the bigger benefit to someone not just of email but we're trying to see what the whole business is and so we're starting to fill that out on each side autonomy, sense of purpose and community seem to make sense on one side. And then I find a little bit of good information here, something that I kind of latch onto a little bit, which is isolation and lack of support. I think community, sense of person, purpose and isolation was just a word that really stuck out here for me. And in this, I'm gonna to have to say that I make a couple of logical leaps here and one of them is around really hooking into this word of isolation. Being a small business owner myself, I definitely know that this is true. I can kind of run on it a little bit more confidently than a product that maybe I'm not familiar with or not the target consumer of. What I'm starting to notice after doing this benefit ladder and trying to explain it to you at the same time is I feel like I need to write out a small script to kind of get all of my pieces together and kind of 
my logic flow of all the pieces out. What I actually do is I actually write it out a little paragraph trying to explain what I see the situation is. So it's small business owners can feel like they're isolated and by themselves with so much in a day, it takes away from what they love, which is connecting with their customer, sharing their passion for their product, getting to communicate and talk about their product. Then this is where I say MailChimp steps in, connects you with your customers, subscriber management, personalized email and email automation, and allows you to connect to the people who believe in you and your product. So here we're starting to see the story, a bit of a strategy story. We're showing what the problem is and how actually MailChimp comes through as a solution. Then I go back and kind of clean up a little bit the both sides of it. And then for the final kind of amount of time, what I'm trying to do is actually sharpen up that write-up. I'm feeling like it's a little bit soft. And what I'm looking for is kind of like it almost like a bit of a punchy insight statement at the front. I've got your customers are the lifeblood of your company, but I feel like that's a bit boring. Like you're isolated from them, but you really, you want to be really close. I find this really good line, but I can't really use it is around. And this is something that I ask GPT for, which gets you to kind of insightful statements is tell me a paradox about customers and small businesses. And the first one's really nice. It's around you're both dependent and dependency and independence. You're dependent on customers to stay independent and to stay being in a small business. And I really like that line, but I've, I've got no way to connect that through. So I ended up writing something a little bit longer. As you grow your business, you're often taken further away from the thing that excites you, starting a business, sharing your passion, and why you started your business with the world. So I, I kind of think that sums it up pretty nicely and I've kind of run out of time by now. So I go back, I've got my kind of pretty cleaned up benefit ladder, but hopefully that shows you how to at least do a speed run on a benefit ladder and how to put all those pieces together.